Okay, for uh, this uh, ZF forward impedance, so we have to transfer into uh, the equivalent turbulent impedance uh, by redraw the circuit of your forward impedance equivalent circuit. So we have here uh, ZF which is represented by the elements of JX2 plus R2 over a slip. This is for forward. So this is your uh, inductance of your magnetizing uh, element, JXM here. So we have to plus all together the elements of this uh, angle with this angle. So R2 over S plus JX2 here, the lines here mixed with this uh, GXM so the top side we multiply the bottom side we just add all together so this is parallel uh, impedance etching okay the above amount is 3.13 3.13 for R2 the slip is 0 0.07 percent uh, 0 0.07 in terms of percent 7 percent so JX2 is uh, J1.56 so times your JSM which is 58.2 so we have J over there so put J so divide by 3.13 uh, plus uh, over 0 0.07 plus J1.56 J5.82 then you will get and this is the amount or the value that I get if you calculate you got different value from this so please inform me so because previously when I do the calculation I myself have done a few mistakes so please be careful on this uh, calculation and please solve step by step and don't key in all together and get the answer but please calculate and get the answer partially and so when you calculate you shall have in term of complex number and also in term of polar so write down both and because you shall need it in your further calculation of the other parameters you want to calculate so you will get and please remember to put in the units at the end of the calculation maybe in the middle of the session it's not to not so important so it's not being stressed it's still important but you can neglect it you can uh, leave it uh, as it is just put the values but in the final uh, values you must put your degrees point and also the unit and so in uh, this is for z forward and you shall get by right the value of 27.189 plus j of 21.863 and ohms so put ohms here this is ohms and also so this is j j in polar it will be 34.888 and you can use two or three depends term of uh, integral integer number okay 38.180 degrees ohm so this is for uh, set forward values and, okay then you find your another uh, elements of z uh, backward we have here you need to find the z forward and so also z backward so for z backward again uh, your your inductance and your resistance and this is your jxm so the slip become 2 minus slip for backward so this is still jx2 so z backward is equal to um, r2 divided by 2 minus s plus jx2 times jxm 
divided by R2 divided by 2 minus S plus JX2 plus JXM. So you calculate this. You shall get the values of So you put in your R2, which is 3.13, you got by 2 minus S, which is 0 0.07 plus J 1.56. And then you solve this one first. You solve and you mix or you add to the J and then you times your JXM which is 58.2 then only uh, then you solve your uh, bottom part which is the same but this one is going to be mixed all together with the uh, JXM 58.2 so you will get the amount of One point five three six plus J one point five six zero or in polar it becomes two point one nine zero with the angle of forty five point four four degrees. So for this part, please remember, please remember to put in the unit of ohm. This one is also ohm. Okay, you can see the difference between your Z forward and Z backward. I want to stress here, Z forward, if you want to justify your answer is correct or not. Usually, we shall have a big difference between the element or value of your forward and backward. And you cannot have the single or uh, the same value. Usually, you have a different value. And quite a big angle of uh, big uh, so called uh, a different in terms of units so one set will have a, a bigger value of resistance or impedance another set we shall have a, a quite low impedance that's the way we can have a top and that will push your shaft to one direction if you have equivalent or almost the same value so the top which produced on the shaft will be very very low so then with this uh, values of z forward and z backward you include again or you put back to the calculation of your i in and you have calculate this one you obtain already z backward you obtain your z forward so you put in inside your calculation of v in divided by the value here so the ZB obtained, ZF obtained, you put back to the calculation, so you will get your I in.